Let's take a look at and another tune, one of my favorites. Actually, all these tunes are, are favorites of mine. That's why I chose them in the first place. And as I said earlier, that's probably why they're standards, because uh, they're everybody's favorites. So how deep is the ocean is a question I've often, often asked myself. And uh, the answer can be found in this tune, because that's the name of the tune, How Deep is the Ocean. Let's take a look at it. Here's the basic melody and harmony to its bare bone essentials. Okay, so it's a minor one chord going to its dominant seventh chord. Back to the one chord. These are all minor chords to dominant seventh chords. Now it's two bars of one chord there. And be sure we're going to fill that up later. Okay, now a reprise of uh, the first section. Okay, there's your basic how deep is the ocean. All right, now let's, uh, let's elaborate on that a little bit, make a little fuller arrangement. Uh, I'm going to play that for you and uh, record it. And then we're going to listen back to it at, at half tempo with the disc clavier playing, and I'll be uh, giving you a blow-by-blow blow blow description of that, okay? Here's how deep is the ocean. Now, okay, that first uh, progression, instead of uh, one, a one chord to a five chord, we went one, six, two, five, one. So we were able to put two beats a piece to those chords. It worked well. Now I'm going to do the same thing again on the G minor. One, six, two, five. And with all these, all these dominant sevens coming up, I'm approaching them with their minor seven chords. Uh, so it's like a two five progression. G, G minor to C seven. Also, I did some inner voice movements there. When you have a minor chord, you can go down root, major seventh, seventh, and then the third becomes, uh, the seventh, uh, I mean the sixth, becomes the third of the dominant seventh chord. Here's a pedal point over E flat. I told you we were going to fill that up. Okay, I approached that E-flat minor uh, with an E minor, so a half step above approach, this time with a minor chord. Here's a bunch of two fives, chromatic. Okay, that was uh, dominant sevens going down in half steps, so instead of just the G7 there, I went B-flat, 7, A7, A-flat, 7, G7. Filled it up nicely. Two beats a piece. One, six, two, five. Okay, those were uh, triads over bass notes, so, which gives a diminished chord, and that's good on a dominant seventh. So uh, I did a D triad over E flat, and then I went up in minor thirds. So that's for a D7 chord. notes in there. Here's parallel structures again. You have to slow, look at the tape again to find out what they are.
Okay, right there I went uh, to that B diminished, which uh, approaches the C chord nicely. And here's a tag originally played by Bill Evans. It's just a series of two five chords now resolving to a C, ma C major chord coming up. There it is. Now F major, sharp four, E7, sharp nine. This run is going to go a little out of the range of the camera. And E flat minor seven. I'm just going up uh, an E flat Dorian scale. And I'm going to end on a voicing that's built in fourths. Coming up, there it is. Now you know how deep the ocean is. <laughs>